Well, not surprisingly, the Obama administration's under fire tonight after so many Americans were told that they could keep their health care insurance, but they've received notices saying that that coverage is being canceled. So the president apologized to them tonight, and Fox 17's Christine Frizzell shows us what's behind the change. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. President Barack Obama repeated that line more than three like dozen times over the past few it. years. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. In fact, the if president like the said it have, at least like 37 doctor, times. You will be able to keep your doctor, period. I think this is something that's going to hurt his administration. It's going to hurt his legacy. And I think it's going to make people suspicious of everything that is said. Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius testifying on Capitol Hill refused to say the president's statement was true or false. Is that statement on the White House website true or is it false? Sir, I think the statement is, is it true or is it false, Madam Secretary? Richard Vatz, an expert on the art of rhetoric, says Obama's line has become an instant part of his legacy. This is really what we would call a space-time line. He's saying very, very unambiguously, if you like your plan, if you like your doctor, if you like your coverage, you can keep it. But that, as we now know, is not true. Not for about 5% of the population that's losing their current health coverage. And now the president is changing the narrative, amending what he said. What we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the law has passed. Not even a spokesperson for the president can explain the shifting message. Well, the president... Uh, as uh, awesomely powerful as the office is, can't go back in time. Critics say the so president's changing the talking points have only added fire to the fight about health care reform. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.